What up, Abyssal Pu- Now first I have to talk about the depth and the pressure and the other things. And that requires numbers and I don't want to do that so there's a text. This place is located in a trench. An important part of it. Okay. Pretty much there are no plants mainly because the sun doesn't reach down there don't know why it would and it's dark the anglerfish is a deep sea creature that uh thrives on bioluminescence it has a light on its forehead that can guide it through the dark depths of hell on earth the second deep sea creature would have to be the dragonfish now don't confuse this one with the anglerfish it also thrives on bioluminescence, but this one looks like death. The next one is the viper fish. The viper fish is very different. Um, still works with bioluminescence, I guess. Don't know. The big thing about this fish is it comes up to shallow water. So, no thanks. The next one is the black swallower. It's a very small fish, but this one can devour an entire thing in one gulp. Just one, and it's gone. So, yup. The next one is the fang tooth. It's just really small, and it has, it's scary looking, really. Um, its head is kind of weird, but it can't hurt humans. The next one is the pelican eel. It's, uh, this big ass eel in the ocean, it can devour things 10 times its size. Finally, uh, what I've actually been waiting to share is the goblin shark. And this is, this, is a, this is actually a really interesting clip, mainly because that's a human. He probably has to go to therapy like every day. So that's, I, I, I just don't know how I feel about that. That's kind of weird. Not even weird, just unbelievably terrifying. I also have to share how you can get to this place, and it's by submarine. It just has to um, withstand extreme pressure. Um, why is this a place to be? It's not. If you feel like you want to go down to the darkest place on Earth and see the dragonfish and this thing, then it's the place to be. Never doing this again. God damn, this is terrible.